Welcome back. Let's try to solve the question number 12 in the CKS Killer Shell Exam Simulator. Question number 12, task rate 8%. Let's switch to this given context. You are asked to investigate a possible permission escape in namespace restricted. The context authenticates as user restricted which has only limited permissions and shouldn't be able to read secret values. Try to find the password key values of the secret, secret one, secret two, and secret three in the namespace restricted. Write the decoded plain text values into the given files here. All right, so it's all about dealing uh, with the secrets. Uh, let's try and uh, see if we can access any of the secrets in this namespace. Restricted namespace, get secrets. Forbidden, it seems this user does not have access uh, to the secrets. I think uh, that's what they have given in the question as well. Uh, let's see what other access that we have uh, in this namespace. So I'm just issuing a get all resources in this namespace. So as you can see, for most of the resources here, uh, like uh, deployments, daemon sets, replica sets, all these things, uh, we don't have permission. But on the very top, we do see we have access to the pods running in this namespace. So Let's get parts in this namespace. Yes, we do have access to the parts. Uh, so with this limited permissions, what we have, we have to now gain access to the secrets and uh, get its uh, value, right? So let's inspect these parts uh, one by one and see if we can gain access to these secrets. So I'm going to print this part one manifest as an ML definition and then grep for secret. Good. So the part one seems like have access to the secret one because it is uh, mounted as a volume the secret secret one is mounted as a volume in this mount path so we can exec into the part one and then access this volume mount to get uh, the secret one value uh, let's do that So kubectl in the restricted namespace exec into the pod interactively and then open a shell. We are in the shell. Now we are going to open this mount path on the container and think password is the one that we're looking for. So it is the decoded password, you are. So now we have decoded the password for the secret one. I'll exit out of this uh, part before, yeah. So for the part one, we don't see any other thing other than the secret one. So we're done with the part one. I'll exit out of it. And the question explicitly, explicitly says that we have to write this decoded secret of secret one into this file. So let me validate this. Good. Now we have to repeat the same process for the part, part two to see if any of the other secrets are used here. So I'm going to grab for the secrets. 
after five before five. Uh, good news is that it is used, um, the secret two is used to here as an environment variable. So we don't see any references to the secret three here. Uh, secret two is used in the pod two. So it's pretty much the same approach that we followed before. So we need to exact into the pod two on this namespace. And then uh, env simply will print all the environment variables in the pod. Let's do that. So this is all of them. But for our information, the key that we are looking for is the password. And here it is. And this is the value of this environment variable, which is the secret too. So now that we know the decoded value of secret two let's write to the file here and just validate looks good um, so we have one more part left which is part three Output. output as YAML and then grab for secret so we don't see any references to the secret 3 but what we can see is the mount path for the service account saying secret access seems to be a clue for us. Uh, all right. So secret one is used inside the pod. Secret two is used inside the pod. Secret three is not referenced in any of the pods uh, running in this namespace. So nothing seems to work. So one thing that we have learned so far is that these existing pods are able to access the secrets. So now let's see if we can make use of the, uh, let's see if we can uh, either create or edit the existing pods so that we can either use them as environment variable or mount them as volume and then grab the value of these secrets like how we did for the first two cases. So kubectl in the restricted namespace run a test pod using the image nginx. Forbidden seems we, we don't have access to run a new pod. How about uh, editing the existing pod, pod one, for instance? So it opened up the pod definition file. So let me search for the secret. So instead of secret one, we'll mount the secret three. And let's Terminate the pod. Oops, even that's forbidden. We don't have access to either create or modify an existing pod. So we cannot use the approaches that we have used for the case one and case two, which is secret one and secret two. Um, okay. Now let's see if we can make use of the service account uh, used by these parts because we know uh, they have access to these secrets. Uh, let's pick up. Let's exec into the pod three. Oh. 
open the shell. Oh. Okay, I'll open this. Okay, open the shell. So we will. Um, so the service account usually, if it is mounted, usually mounted by default. If so, then it will have the token, um, service account token mounted as well. So we first gain access to the service account token using which we will directly um, call or access the QBAP server using the service account token and see if we are able to grab the secret three value. So that's what we're trying to do now. So mount uh, service account, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to see what we have here. So there is the token, perfect. So we now have access to the service account token. Right, now we have to um, go through the Kubernetes documentation to see how to access the Kube API server using the service account token. Accessing clusters using Kubernetes API. So I'm just search for call. I think this is the one we're looking for. So curl API server slash API header and pass the better token. So here it says insecure, but um, let's see what we can do with this one. Let's go back to the terminal here again. So what we are going to do now is curl HTTPS. Well, I'll go to the other terminal. and then get service. Usually it will have, okay. Oh, we don't have access to the services as well, but um, for a matter of fact, we know that usually Kubernetes will have this kubernetes.default uh, as the service name which is Kubernetes in the default namespace. That's all it does. Let's see if we're able to access, could not resolve. And uh, so we are going to access the API. Usually secrets will be V1. Um, and then we are going to use the use the header, pass the header um, authorization header with the bearer token. And the token we are simply going to open up this file which holds the service account token. Close um, that and in secure access. Perfect. So we are able to access the QBAP server using the service account token. Um, so what we did so far is API v1, and then we have to now go further into namespaces 
which is the structure it usually follows, and then which namespace we are um, looking. So we are looking at the restricted namespace, and within the restricted namespace, we are looking for the secrets. Sec. It says forbidden. Oh, I think I have a typo here. Rest T R I C T D restricted. Perfect. I'll do it again. Restricted namespace. Uh, good. We are able to interact with the QBB server and we are able to get the secret information here and here is the uh, basics for encoded password for secret 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 three let's let's see if that is the secret it is or we can simply say secret three exactly so let's decode this password now Co base sixty four hyphen D penetration tester. This is the decoded value of the secret secret three. Let's exit out of uh, the pod and then now that we know the value of the secret three. Let's write it to this file. Perfect. And then validate it once again. Perfect. So you are an amazing penetration tester is it's the it's the values actually. You are as from secret one an amazing secret two penetration dash tester is of the secret three. So as far as this question goes, we are able to successfully gain access to this secrets with with the restrict restricted permissions and uh, there was this loophole with the uh, secret mounting. Uh, as as volumes and environment variables and then uh, service account tokens so using which we are able to gain access to this one so that's all uh, for this question and uh, thanks for your time